What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is the second day of 2024. So I decided I was going to do a tier list because I said I would do one. And I think the last one I did was in 2022, so about two years ago. I'm hungry. Alright. I also just got home from school. So, I need to have my little snack. So, without further ado, let's do it. I have played, um like enough to have different opinions on most of these characters a lot of it is going to be the same like i think um 30 of it is going to stay the same but yeah um i'm not going to go in, into too depth of each character i'm probably going to do like a quick 10 second reason on why the character is going in a spot um but yeah so let me finish chewing and we'll get started all right so first up regular citron um i i am an a just a decent character. Average. Um good character. What can I say? Frost Rose. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say S because here, actually, um, yeah, I'm gonna say S. Uh I don't know why there's S S and S. I didn't even think S S was a a thing. But we'll put them in S her in S. Be like her her freeze charge, her 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 top charge freeze, like it just like instantly freezes them. So what you do is you just full charge and then you just start spamming after and they usually just die super fast. Uh, Party Rose, again, average character. Neck Rose, broken. Dude, this character is the only character in the entire game to have her effect. The uh, Jinx effect is what it's called. Don't know what that is. You hit them with the Jinx and they take like a lot more damage, like 2.5, three times more damage. Um, it's crazy. Regular Corm incredible character so much ammo for how much he deals um can't go wrong with regular corn barbecue corn hmm this was 2016 he would be an sss tier sssss tier but it's not 2016 i'm gonna have to give him i also haven't played him in a little bit i'll give him i don't know if that's gonna make people upset again i i haven't played him in a a long time um hmm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in decent. Uh no, I'll put him in average. He's still a corn. No corn can go below A. So mob cob, still mid. I take back what I said. Pops corn can go in C. Pops corn is such a okay character. I just don't think a burst corn is just a good idea. Again, he's still a corn, so can't really go below that, but his primary is just so bad. It's just so bad. If he didn't have his abilities, he'd be F. I'm in. Simple as that. I don't know why his primary is just so bad to me. Um, Party Corn. Um, actually, I actually just had a video on him. I think he has 10 less shots than regular Corn. I'm going to give him average because those 10 less shots are a big difference, at least for me. Again, this is me. This is my opinion. It's not fact. So, um, Commando Corn. S. Easy. Splash damage character. Amazing. Regular Pea Shooter. Going average. Deals a hefty amount of damage. Uh, direct shot plus the splash can't go wrong with him frozen citron mm, either incredible or average um oh incredible his frozen beam is just so e so easy to get kills with incredibly easy to get kills with it's not even funny fire pea shooter um mm, i don't know actually fire pea he's pretty good i'll give him average uh same with no snow pea or ice pea Whichever one it is, I forget which one. I think it's Ice P. Um, uh, same with that. Same with Toxic P. The, these P shooters are all basically in the same category. Commando P, incredible. That's gonna tip some heads. Um, he's just like, I just feel like he's good long range, mid range, and close range. Especially close range. He hits like what thirteen close range, and he's a semi auto. Like, dude, that's crazy. He. Or no, he's not semi out. He's automatic. Like, that's crazy. That's insane. Like, he deals so much damage for... And also, he's got, like, 30 shots or something like that. Agent P, SS. I mean, I'm I'm bad at aiming, and he's still SS. Just such a good character. He deals so much damage. Law P. Listen, I know Law P... I always have to say this in my tier lists. I know I just said about Agent P. I'm bad at aiming, but he's still SS. Law P, I'm going to have to give C. Because I'm not good with him. I know this character is probably SS for everyone else, but for me, he's C. I just can't hit my shots. 
Simple as that. Plasma P, SS, Rock P, F. <laughs> Worst character in the game. Who thought it was a good idea to give Pea Shooter 150 health, but then make him move as fast as my grandma when she gets out of bed? Come on. Electro P, SS. We'll move him to the very front. Um, Regular Charm. Oh, if you guys want explanations for Plasma P and Electro P. Detonation character, and also, for some reason, moves faster than every other Pea Shooter. And um, just incredibly overpowered uh, full charge. Regular Chomper, B. I don't think any Chomper can go into average other than uh, Unicorn and Twilight, wherever they are. Wherever he, there he is. Other than these two, because these two have warps, so they can have some mobility and sometimes get on roofs. So no Chomper can, can go above these two. Um, Electro Citron F, trash. So garbage. Full charge is good, but it's just so garbage. So slow for... I mean, well, I can't even say he's slow because he's a Citron, but he's just, his charge is just not good to me. Like with Plasma P, you can full charge and you can like, you can take misses. Like you can miss with him, but I feel like with this character, you can't miss or else you just die. You pay the price if you miss. Fire Chomper. Um, I haven't played Fire Chomper in a long time. Put him in C. Hot Rod, obviously B tier. Power Chomper. I like Power Chomper. He deals like 11, 12 damage 10 11 i think it is 10 11 damage um with his spray count chompula b toxic chomper i think he's like kind of on par with fire chomper armor chomper b armor chomper is good people think armor chomper is bad he's not bad he's really good armor chomper you know he's slow but he has 215 health or something and he also has burrow you can use sprint burrow with him uh, i wouldn't really recommend it though because he just basically moves as fast as a regular chomper but he doesn't have any time in burrow uh, chomp thing bad <laughs> trash character yeti chopper f um actually no you're you're going down with with yeti chomper uh these two yeti chomper just his da his doesn't deal enough damage primary does not deal enough damage uh for how slow it is and i guess you could you know goop them and then use your primary but no and then him just doesn't deal enough damage again uh spray chompers they're just not the greatest and he's just bad and he also has like does he have 135 health i think he has 135 i know he he regenerates faster but bro there's no point in regenerating faster if you have no health to regenerate in the first place 135 is just if he had 150 i'd be like maybe he has 135 just not good disco chomper just regular chomper with disco mode basically uh he's better than regular chomper obviously iron citron Whew. Iron Citron. Honestly, like, I gotta say, Iron Citron with his upgrades is probably an A, and without his upgrades is probably a C. Because the, I'm gonna count all these with their upgrades, I'm gonna put him in A. But if he didn't have his upgrades, he'd be dragged down to C. He's just not good without his upgrades. I'm sorry. I cannot play him without his upgrades. He just reloads so entirely slow, and it's ridiculously hard to get kills on him. Uh, with his upgrades, it's obviously easier. Regular Sunflower, I would say, is, um, I don't know. She's pretty good. I'd, I would, I'd give her decent. Uh, Fire Flower, I'm not a huge fan of Fire Flower, nor Power Flower. Um, Shadow Flower goes basically with regular Sunflower. She's just regular Sunflower. I think she has, like, 60 shots, though. Crazy amount of shots. Mystic Flower Trash, garbage character. Uh, Charge Sunflower just isn't it for me. Same with Metal. Uh, metal Petal's bad. Better than Mystic. I actually thought Metal Petal was the worst character at one point until I played her. She has like, what, 160 health and you can get 170 with her health upgrade. Uh, Pharaoh Flower. Um, I'm gonna give her B and I know you guys are gonna say why because Pop's Corn is like the same primary, but she deals, first of all, she deals more damage and second off, she's a Sunflower that can burst shot and heal herself at the same time. So she can put out damage and heal herself. I don't know why that's just so much better than Pop's Corn. I know he's got the abilities, but uh, people are gonna... Obviously, you want to kill a corn more than a sunflower, and they're not going to see Pharaoh Flower as a threat until, you know, she starts taking down their health bar. Um, I just feel like I've done better with Pharaoh, Pharaoh Flower than I have ever with Mob Cob. That's simple. I'm telling you, when a Mob Cob video comes out and a Pharaoh Flower video comes out, I'm going to do better with Pharaoh Flower. Alien Flower? Oh my god. S. <laughs> Highest kill streak with this character. I have like 34 with her. So broken. Vampire Flower? Uh, decent. Don't really play her, honestly gonna be honest party citron same as regular citron just party mode stuffy flower um i'm gonna give her decent you know she kills people and she gets heals from killing them pretty good 
regular cactus uh dude good good character same with fire ice honestly all the cacti here are really good oh, oh um we'll differentiate these in a sec let me just put these in f really fast um bandit cactus gatling cactus is not a good idea especially if you want to be long range camo cactus is just five shots and he reloads really slow and shoots slow just not good if you get up close to someone you basically die you have no chance um regular cactus outputs a hell of a lot of damage same with these uh same with this one uh except you know he has fire this one he has ice which is amazing for a sharpshooter as a matter of fact i'm gonna put him in, in incredible it's so easy to get kills because being a sniper that can freeze people is just such a good ability i mean even if you don't fully freeze them they get slower so they're much easier to shoot i think he deals like i think half the damage that that regular and fire do but still being able to freeze people is always going to be good future cactus obviously can charge up um i might I, I, i'm gonna keep future cactus in a can charge up deal a ton of damage zen cactus the less ammo you have the more damage you do which is amazing uh cool concept power cactus deals a ton of damage and obviously if they're next to each other it's easier to kill them because they uh hits next to people J cactus literally rewards you for missing so i mean how can you argue with that and also has a, a good amount of health so if you're uh you know sniping you have what like 150 health i think you have 150 health so you're not gonna die as fast as these ones uh toxic citron um i'm gonna have to go okay not bad or unplayable because uh there are certain times where i've done actually really good with toxic citron but he's not great honestly he's not great he's just meh uh you know his aura effect doesn't last for too long doesn't really deal any damage petrify cactus easy ss detonation cactus what can i say 150 health for some reason torchwood um honestly torchwood is i don't know i'm gonna have to say decent he just gets targeted too often honestly he's he's, he's the one that people want to kill the most and you know you never get a really good game with torture because you're always dead regular rose incredible um i just i think she does two extra damage than party rose i could be wrong uh two extra damage as a rose for some reason just makes such a big difference for me uh i don't know why i i like playing her more than party rose druid rose incredible fire rose incredible um it's, kind of, it's like the same thing with this rose except instead of freezing them you do fire damage she does like uh 50 full charge and then plus the five so that's 75 damage for one shot you know what i'm saying she shoots really damn fast and has the toxic damage which is amazing uh fun fact she doesn't actually have a toxic aura neither does sanitation expert now we're on the zombies now here's where it gets fun because this is my favorite side the the better side uh regular imp i'm gonna say i'm gonna ah uh, man i don't know actually average very good mech, very good abilities, obviously. Very good primary. Uh, you can't go wrong. Oh, and my thing just fell. Uh, Electro Brains. I actually thought Electro Brains was really, like, trash. And then I played him, and he's actually not that bad. Like, he's not as bad as you think. You just gotta play him. Uh, Toxic Brains. I'm gonna go Incredible. It's not SS because um, he just... He is SS. What am I talking about? I was gonna say because he, does, he doesn't deal enough damage with his regular punches, but... Bro, his overload is so easy to get. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, Party Brains. SS. Amazing. Super Brains. Uh, breakfast Brains. I know. I have big talk when it comes to Breakfast Brains, but uh, I'm joking all the time. Every Anytime you hear me say Breakfast Brains is broken, I'm, I'm obviously kidding. He's good, but he's not average. He's below average for sure. Um, but he's still very fun to play. Most fun character in the game for sure. Always will hold that statement captain deadbeard incredible character oh my gosh captain uh what well, cad cannon captain cannon broken uh regular deadbeard he just deals so much damage and shotgun is so good captain cannon is detonation need i say more no uh flame face interesting character just played him average character very good character not gonna lie his uh special is that he can shoot through multiple people at once it's all right shark bite um bad uh just i mean he deals splash damage i think shotgun is kind of meh and his long range isn't the greatest it's also really annoying when you're shooting him because it goes pew, pew, pew. uh party man um 
about the same as Deadbeard. I think he's missing a couple shots. I'm not sure how many. I think he's missing two or four. I don't know if it's two or four, but um, actually, no, no, no. He's average. I'm going to say average because, uh, you know, a captain in his party time isn't like the best thing ever. I think what would have made his party time better is if he had it a lot longer, but he didn't move faster and only dealt more damage because why does it matter if you move faster if you're just sitting in the back shooting people? You know, it doesn't. Um, so I think it would have been better if, if his lasted like a hell of a lot longer, but you know, he couldn't move faster. Uh, I think that would be better. Squawk. Dude, I got to say Squawk is average. Squawk. I love Squawk. I'm not going to lie. He's on par with this captain and flame face. His primary, his, you know, his, his long range is amazing. You can pick kills so easily. You can kill, um, I think it's, yes, yeah, sunflowers in almost two shots. Um, mostly, most of the time, two shots um he's just such a good character i mean people hate him because he only has one shot in his long range but if you just aren't bad you know then you're fine and i'm pretty bad and i think he's good his, his close range is kind of trashy though but uh, it makes up for it for his long range little drake um average fire imp mech is pretty good soldier s ss actually super commando ss arc super ss tank commander ss uh General Supremo SS Camo Ranger Average And again I'll explain all these characters after I'm done rating them Sky Trooper SS uh, Centurion Bad Park Ranger Average Scuba Soldier Decent Now let's explain these soldiers Should've just done that Should've just went class by class and explained them Regular Soldier 35 shots 10, 11 damage, amazing. Super Commando with both upgrades and damage upgrade is like, he's hitting like 20, 20, in the 20s, triple. So that's like 60 damage in a second, plus he reloads instantly. So you can be doing like 180 damage in like two seconds. Amazing. Tank Commander shoots for like 65 and reloads instantly. So you can be hitting 130, killing pea shooters in seconds, like two, two seconds, one and a half seconds. Arctic Trooper, it's like uh, with Ice Cactus, you know, freezing people, especially as a soldier, when you're dealing, uh, Auto fire damage is amazing. General Supremo just played him, dropped like a 40 bomb with him, um, and got most kills on like the third point or something like that. Amazing character. His 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 accuracy is amazing. Um, his DPS is is literally like the same as as this character, but he has a uh, somebody in my comments section. I'll put up the comment. They said his his um because he doesn't reload. He overheats. They said his overheat is is uh, equivalent to 56 56 shots. That's 56 shots as a uh, soldier. Sky Trooper has, I think, 30 shots or 25, and he just has so he shoots a lot faster. Amazing soldier. Park Ranger, or sorry, Camo Ranger. It's not much need for him since you have pirates. Uh, still really good though. Park Ranger is like um, the sold like the alien flower of soldiers, um, but it's not the greatest. Scuba Soldier is just. I'm just not a fan. His shots move a little slow. The radar or whatever it's called, seeing people through walls is just not worth it for how like little damage you do. You know, he has two shots, but I'm just not a fan. His splash doesn't deal too much damage. His direct shots are like 55 or something. Um, not a big fan. Centurion is just trash. <laughs> it's just trash. Come on. I guess you can see he's kind of like Camo Ranger, but he shoots slower and Camo Ranger I think has more shots. Never had a good game with Centurion really. Um, but I don't actually I don't think he's he's bad, but he's trash. He'll put him in okay. Because I kind of feel bad. Uh AC Perry, trash. So trash. Oh my gosh, trash. Worst zombie in the game. Um his primary his primary shoots so slow and it just doesn't deal any damage. So, oh my gosh, AC Perry is so bad. Please do not use AC Perry. So bad. Oh my gosh. I, I can't stress it enough. He's so trash. Uh Pylon Imp. I like Pylon Imp. Uh decent. Just all around pretty good character. Regular engineer is an S character. 40 day he always hits crits. That's his thing. He always hits crits. So 40 damage direct shots is amazing. Um just such a power hitter, honestly. Welder, uh, he's decent, I guess. It's alright. Electrician, same with Welder. Canic SS character. Literally uh the soldier of engineers. Painter is okay. Uh he does this weird thing where his shots like move with with you weird it's like if you are shooting and you like move left as you shoot your shot will like go like this which 
I know, yeah, that's left on the screen. So your shot will go like this. It's so weird. I don't know why it does that. Um, plumber, kind of the same with these two. Landscaper is kind of mid. It's like kind of the same with painter. He's just, eh, doesn't have any special, uh, anything special on him. Another thing with painter is also, you know, you don't really need painter as a sniper anymore. You got dead beards. And obviously, you know, have camo ranger. Honestly, I'd rather play Centurion than Painter, probably. Uh, Sanitation Expert is going up here with him because he just deals he deals uh, actually more da direct damage and has the toxic effect. Uh, Rody Z. Um, I'm going to put an S because he doesn't have range, so he can't be an SS character. He doesn't have any range, but he's still amazing. Uh, he's definitely highest S. He's literally like SS minus, probably. If we're, but we're not doing it like that. These are all just Shrimp good character uh i'm gonna give him wherever imp is yep he's just he's good his mech is really good i think oh uh, i forgot to say pylon pylon's mech is pretty good too um dies fast easy dies pretty easy though shrimp's mech can like fly so it's amazing regular scientist um oopsies where did i put regular scientist and regular scientist is gone oh he's right here okay no he's definitely not f he's ss 100 percent Bro, he hits like 77 direct damage up close. Oh my gosh. Power hitter. Probably one of my favorite scientists. Probably my favorite scientist. Dr. Toxic. Pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Marine biologist. A uh, Dr. Toxic. He just doesn't deal enough damage. Marine biologist is pretty good. Ha, shoots fast. Reloads pretty fast. Has a okay ammo capacity. Deals good damage. Physicist is about almost, a, it's almost the same as a regular scientist, except he deals like 55 instead of 77. And obviously has the electric ability, which is really good. Astronaut, incredible. You can do long range, close range. You can do across the map. You can do right in their face. You could do, you know, midway. You can do anything and it'll, he'll work. Chemist, average, you know, can't really go too far with him, but he still does a lot of damage. Um, archaeologist. I had a video on him a while ago. Um, it's kind of meh you know he's meh i uh, she's pretty fast has a little bit of splash he's just the worst paleontologist which paleontologist is ss for sure same he's like kind of like astronaut you can go as far as you want he'll be amazing he's amazing sniper amazing broken busted he has splash too uh zoologist bad I had a video on him and he just performed like garbage um you know with me of course um but you know oh well computer scientist we're gonna, I, oh my god, I haven't played Computer Scientist in a long time. Um, I'm gonna give him an A. From what I remember, he was pretty good, but I don't like his mode because it makes like everything around you look really funny. It's cool though, it's a cool concept. D7 Imp, come on, SS. Uh, trigger Finger character, of course. Amazing, if you have a good Trigger Finger, he is the greatest character of all time. Regular all-star, he is average. Uh, same with cricket. Same, I, I think all the all-stars are basically the same tier. A lot of them are very similar, uh, except for wrestling star and motocross star, which motocross star is, is better than wrestling because wrestling is the worst all-star I've ever played in my life. So garbage. Uh, let me put tennis back up here. Yeah, all these all-stars are pretty similar. They all have different traits that kind of add up to one another. Um, I actually, I do think Golf Star is, is a little better. I'm going to put him in Incredible. He shoots so fast. Um, his, he, I think, I think his thing is he overheats fast, but his overheat lasts like a second. I, I, I think that's Golf Star. Um, same with Baseball Star. Baseball Star is really good too. They're, they're very similar, uh, in how much damage they deal. He shoots a little slower though, uh, Baseball Star, but, uh, his, he doesn't overheat as fast. And Party Imp, of course, just regular imp with a party meter so he's of course going to be good hover goats i'm gonna put in b he's all right i mean nobody really uses him as a support character uh, he's not really fit to play a support character he's more of like an aggressive character people play him as i feel um scallywag imp he's uh he's pretty good his mech is also really good it just gets killed really easily um, because it's so big. Regular, super brains. Um, I'm going to put him in S because he doesn't have the party meter, so he's a little worse. Um, that's what makes this character so good. It's his party meter. Oh my gosh, when you guys party meter, is so good. And cosmic brains. I'm going to give him okay. I played with him earlier, and he was actually not that bad. Surprising. Yeah, he actually is not, like, incredibly bad as I thought he was, so. 
Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be my list. Um, I can't really show the full thing uh, right now, but if you guys want to take pictures, put them on Reddit, make fun of my tier list, that's fine. Um, I decided since it was beginning of 2024, I would do one in the beginning of 2024 and one at the end, just to see how my opinions have changed throughout the year. You guys can go check out my other tier lists. Um, I think I did one in 2021 and 2022. So you guys can go check out those ones. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Happy New Year, everybody.